What's up, basketball world? What's going on out there? This video here is probably going to be the first of four parts. It's going to be a comparison between Kobe Bryant and LeBron James. Now, they do have a seven-year gap between them two because one came in 96, the other one came in 03, which is a seven-year window. Now, I can't compare career to career yet because I'm going to do is compare the first 12 years because LeBron only did 12. So, it's only fair if I do Kobe Bryant's first 12 years versus LeBron's first 12 years because he only did 12. So, 12 and 12. I'm going to do rookie versus rookie, sophomore, sophomore, third year, third year, fourth year, fourth year. Hope y'all can keep along with it as I go along. Yes, they both start off at age 18, playing their first game in the NBA. Both came out of high school straight into the league. So, shouldn't be much excuses why one can do whatever and the other one can't because they both start off at the same age. In fact, Kobe was a younger 18 than LeBron was. Let's begin. I'm going to do Kobe first, and I'm going to do LeBron second. Because LeBron came into the league after Kobe. So first comes first, second comes second. Here we go. Kobe Bryant's rookie season, 96-97 year. He was 18 years old, 72 days. At that time, he was the youngest to play an NBA game. And was the star at one point in time that year, too. During his rookie season, he did make second team all-rookie squad. He was a reserve player, averaging only seven points. He did make the playoff appearance. That's good. Rookie season for LeBron James, 03-04 season. He averaged 20 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, becoming the third rookie in NBA history to post such numbers. Oscar Robinson was first. Michael Jordan was second. LeBron James was third. Youngest to score 40 points. Rookie of the Year Award winner, becoming the youngest rookie to ever win Rookie of the Year Award at age 19. First team rookie squad. First team rookie squad is better than being on the second team rookie squad. And in fact, he was rookie of the year award. So, Kobe, you might want to ask Allen Iverson what happened to your rookie of the year award trophy your rookie season. Sophomore season's up next. As far as rookie season, LeBron got that edge. Sophomore season, 97 98 for Kobe. He was runner up for sixth man of the year. He averaged 15 points per game as a reserve player. He led all. NBA reserve players in points. That's pretty cool. He and his stat line was 15, 5, and 3. As opposed to LeBron James' sophomore year in 0405 season. He was the youngest to record a triple double. Youngest to score 50 and reach the all NBA team, become the youngest to do that. He was second team all NBA. 27.7 rebounds, 7 assists, 2.2 steals during the regular season. That's the stat line. He failed to make the playoffs each of his first two years, rookie and sophomore season. Kobe Ryan made it twice. He's 2 for 2. LeBron's 0 for 2. During as a whole of the season, that edge once again goes to LeBron due to him being the youngest to do blah, blah, blah. And Kobe Ryan was clearly the younger 18-year-old because LeBron James was 18 and a half years old. Kobe Ryan was a fresh 18. That edge goes to LeBron James. Third year of the league. Third year for Kobe. 98-99 season. He was third team all NBA. 46% from the field. 19-5-3. During the regular season. He made the playoffs there too. Third year for LeBron James. 05-06 season. He was runner up for the league's MVP award. Losing to Steve Nash. That was Steve Nash's second of back-to-back -back MVP awards. And also, he averaged 31.7 rebounds, 6 assists, becoming the youngest player to ever average 30 points or more at the end of the regular season. Even more, that was his first playoff appearance in his third year, so he's one for three. Good for him. In his NBA playoff debut, he recorded 32-11-11, and a triple-double. That hasn't been done in a playoff game debut since Magic Johnson did. First team all NBA. Now, third year versus third year, Kobe Bryant was third team all NBA. LeBron's third year, he was first team all NBA and was the MVP runner up with MVP nominations. Kobe Bryant did not receive such MVP nominations during his third year. LeBron did. In fact, he came in second place. That edge clearly goes to LeBron James. 
both of you guys are with me so far. Kobe Bryant's fourth year, which is 99-2000 season, the year that Phil Jackson became the Lakers head coach. Kobe Bryant was second team all NBA. He was first team defensive squad. First NBA title. He had a good run during the postseason. During the regular season, he averaged 22.6 rebounds and four assists with 46% from the field. Pretty impressive. You won your first title in four years since entering the league. As opposed to LeBron James, his fourth year, 2006-2007 season, he averaged 27 points, 6 assists, 6 rebounds. Now, he went three straight years during the regular season where he averaged 27, 6, and 6 or better, joining Oscar Robertson to do those stat line numbers. He was second team all NBA. He averaged 1.6 steals per game in the NBA Finals appearance he made in his fourth year. During the East Finals, Game 5, he did post 48 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists against the Detroit Pistons, which was a huge clinic. Also, he scored 29 of the team's final 30 points. Outstanding. Went to the Finals, he got swept away from the title. 4 games to 0. And during his Finals run, he averaged 22.7 rebounds, 6 assists in 4 games. Now, the regular season between these two... Now, one, they both made second team all NBA. One was first team defense squad. The other one wasn't even on the defensive team at all. So, based upon stat wise, it's LeBron James. Other accomplishments alongside was Kobe. Postseason, they both made good runs in the postseason. One walked away with the title, the other one didn't. I understand it takes a team to win. But, simple fact, one did complete the ultimate goal, the other one didn't. So, that edge goes to Kobe with his ring. Year number five for Kobe follows this. 2000-2001 season. He had rich 28 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists, 46% from the field during a regular season. Yep, he was a team leader in assists, averaging 5, which is good. They had a record of 15 wins and one loss in the playoffs and winning the second title. Only loss came to Allen Iverson, who was Leeds MVP that year in 2001 when they met in the NBA Finals. And then Lakers swept them after that loss. Four games to one, Kobe Bryant's second ring. During the playoff run, Kobe Bryant averaged 29.7 rebounds, 6 assists during the entire playoffs. Second team All-NBA, second team defensive squad. Remember the year before he made first team. Second and second for Kobe in his fifth year. LeBron James' is fifth year in the league, which was 07-08 season. He received his first scoring title, averaging 30 points. He averaged 30 points, 6 assists, 6 rebounds. He also has seven recorded triple doubles th during that year, and he was first team all NBA. He did make the playoffs. Game seven against Boston Celtics put on a good performance, but he got booted in seven games. So as far as the playoff run is concerned, that edge goes to Kobe because he did put up good stats such as 29.7 rebounds, six assists, in addition to winning his second title. Second team all NBA, second team defense squad. LeBron James made first team honors. He did not make the defense squad at all, so that first team honors is better than second, but the defensive team honors is better than not making defensive team honors at all. That is the first five years that I have so far between these two, and the second part will be coming up shortly in a few. You just find that link. This would be Cody Ryan versus LeBron James part two.